In this video, we'll understand how to manage user account control. You'll learn how to differentiate standard users and administrative users, define UAC, identify UAC group policy settings, and configure UAC. As you're watching this presentation, I'd like to keep these guiding questions in mind. What is the most important rule for controlling access to resources? What is a malicious program or software? And what does the UAC do? When differentiating between standard and administrative users, keep in mind that a standard user account enables users to do the following. Use most of the capabilities of the computer, use most programs that are installed on the computer, and change settings that affect the user account. A standard user account prevents the user from doing the following. That is installing and uninstalling software and hardware, deleting files that are required for the computer to work, and changing settings that affect other users or the security of the computer. If you're using a standard account, you might be prompted for an administrative password before you can perform certain tasks. An administrator account enables users to do the following, that is make changes that will affect other users, configure security settings, install software and hardware, gain access to all files on the computer, make changes to other user accounts. An administrator account doesn't have any restrictions on the computer. Administrator accounts are still prompted for administrative approval when performing certain tasks. User Account Control, or UAC, is a feature in Windows that can help you stay in control of your computer by informing you when a program makes a change that requires administrator level permission. UAC works by adjusting the permission level of your user account. If you're doing tasks that can be completed as a standard user, such as reading email, listening to music, or creating documents, you have the permissions of a standard user, even if you're logged on as an administrator. This slide presents the various UAC notifications you will encounter and provide visual clues about the program wishing to run on your computer. UAC notifications interact with the program's digital signature. A digital signature is an electronic security mark that can be added to files. It allows you to verify the publisher of a file and helps verify that the file has not changed since it was digitally signed. If the file does not have a valid digital signature, there is no way for you to be sure that the file is actually from the source it claims to be from or that it has not been tampered with, possibly by a virus, since it was published. UAC group policy settings can UAC can be controlled by configuring group policy settings. Click start in the search uh, field and type in gpedit.msc and press, press enter and you'll be presented with this dialog box. UAC policy settings can be located by within the local group policy editor or by clicking computer configuration, window settings, local policies, security options. This is normally configured through domain-based policies. UAC settings are at the bottom of the list. Explanations of each policy setting can be found by double-clicking the policy setting and clicking the Explain tab, and you'll get an explanation as well as a link to a website uh, provided by Microsoft to provide more information. UAC can be configured at the application level or the system level. To run an application in elevated mode, perform these steps. Right-click on the application that is not an administrative application. Select Properties. Select the Compatibility tab. Locate Privilege Level and select Run this program as an administrator and click OK. UAC can be turned on or off at the system level. You must be logged in as an administrator to modify UAC settings. Turning off UAC reduces computer security and may expose it to increased risk from malicious software. To modify the UAC, you can perform these tasks. When discussing this presentation with your group, please also discuss these questions. What is a digital signature? Identify three things that a standard user cannot do. And what does UAC help prevent?